What is happening, fellow collectors? Oh, you motherfucker. As you can see, we have these bikes uh, from the Dollar Tree. Son of a bitch. Went to a Dollar Tree, you know, just sometimes I like to go to the Dollar Tree and just look for cheap stuff to repaint. Sometimes you get lucky, you get like furniture pieces for dioramas, uh, sometimes plastic weapons that you can cut out and, and paint. Well, I got lucky and I found these bikes you have here. Uh, turbo wheels with freewheeling. They're just nice, cool little dirt bikes and they happen to match perfectly with the scale of the GI Joes. Uh, G.I. Joe figures that come with vehicles, bikes, they're expensive. Don't even get me started on Hasbro's uh, Ghost Rider. Holy hell, don't even get me started on that. You guys remember Breaker, he came with his bike. I think that came out like 50 bucks or whatever, which is not bad, but I didn't get the chance to get Breaker with the bike, so I'm gonna have fun, spend a dollar on these dirt bikes and just repaint them. So I have some brown paint here, some Rust-Oleum, tan color. I got an army green, um, and I think I'm gonna do one black too. Maybe I can make a snake eyes bike. First thing I'm gonna do is I gotta take these wheels off, make sure I don't paint them. Um, nice little kickstand here. I gotta take these cheesy stickers off. Uh, today's Sunday, which means Hobby Lobby's closed. I didn't get to go to Hobby Lobby and get stickers, so I might have to add the stickers later. But at least getting a base paint on these bikes will uh, at least give me a head start on making my own custom G.I. Joe Classified series, six inch scale, dirt bikes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this sucker apart. I wanna pop the wheels off. I'm thinking if I want the rims to be a, a nice chrome or a silver, maybe I can get a Sharpie silver marker and just silver those out. Uh, let's see, we got a kickstand I don't wanna paint. So I take that one off. Some handlebars here, don't wanna paint those. Those come right off. I wanna get this seat off too, because I don't want that to be green. Look at that, just comes right off. So all I have is this piece to color. I'm just gonna take these stickers off. Just taking all these cheesy stickers off. Look at that, it's like, it's almost like they were made for customizing. Okay, this is all we gotta get down to painting. Let's go ahead and start off with an army green. And to make it easier on myself, I'm just gonna split it in half, just like that. I'm gonna lay them out. And just paint on top. We'll see how it comes out. Knowing how to paint stuff is a blessing. You just get to make your own toys. Okay, here we go, first coat. I'm excited for the uh, the matte black one to come out. Okay, so the paint jobs are finished. I think the best one that came out was the black, uh, and simply because it's like a matte color, uh, as opposed to these. These are more of a shiny, more of a glossy color, glossy brown. It'd be nice to have a matte, tan color like that. Same thing with the green. Next, I'm gonna be going through the details with this metallic Sharpie, picked up at the Dollar General. The metallic Sharpie is going to be used more for like the shocks, uh, kind of like the motors, the rotors you see here, maybe the exhaust. Just little things like that that would be actual metallic pieces on the bike. And I actually got this set from the Dollar General as well. Metallic markers, classics. It's got different colors. Obviously I'm not going to be using any of these, but I might be throwing in a little bit of metallic gold, metallic black as you can see on the corner. So let's get down to it.
Okay, so we have the uh, bikes pretty much all painted up, ready to go. Um, now, one thing I did not want to do was leave these headlights just colored or put the sticker back on of, you know, the little cheapy sticker they had of the headlight. So what I thought would be a good idea is if I looked for some type of gemstones uh, to put on the headlight so it kind of looks like, um, you know, just a clear, like, headlamp, kind of like a crystallized diamond gemstone. So I went to Michael's earlier, and luckily I found these guys, these little gemstones here. Uh, bling stickers little 16 piece here for five bucks um, So these I feel are gonna be a perfect size on those headlights. So let's go ahead and give them a shot So it looks like they already have some glue on the back, but let's see. Let's go ahead and plant it right on the center there And right off the bat we got a headlight look at that <laughs> Yo Look at that it doesn't look too bad does it? It looks a little dazzly, I won't lie, but I couldn't find any better shape. Uh, but honestly, this is just good enough for me, you know what I mean? It's just, it looks more 3D, looks more realistic. Slap one on the tan here. Okay. And then last, we have the green. Boom. So with that being said, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little custom video. Uh, hopefully you guys can find some of these bikes at your local Dollar Tree. Um, you can maybe find them online too. Uh, just look up Turbo Wheels Dirt Bikes from the Dollar Tree. I'm sure they'll pop up somewhere. Um, and who knows, maybe you can customize your own style of these dirt bikes. So with that being said, folks, I hope you enjoy your figs. I hope you enjoy your families. And as always, good hunting. Peace!